How can you find water if you are stuck in the desert? Lost in the desert? Thirsty? Dehydration can cause confusion and delirium. If you start talking to lizards and then listen to what they say in response, you should immediately look for a source of water. Good morning. If you're lucky, you might find an oasis in the desert, a place where groundwater comes to the surface. Then you'll be able to quench your thirst and hunger as well as get help from the locals who often visit oasises. If you find a pond in which the water has a little soapy or salty taste, you should not drink it because there is a high risk of getting an upset stomach. However, you can and should wet your clothes with the water to keep cool. If there is no oasis nearby, do not hide your head in the sand in fear. Instead, try to find water in that sand. First of all, stand on the hill and look around. Pay attention to the depressions at the foot of the cliffs, hollows between the dunes, and old dry riverbeds. The proximity of water will be indicated by accumulations of mosquitoes and midges after sunset, as well as bright green vegetation, wild watermelons, or date palms among the sand. Try to dig a well in this place like this. Dig until dark, wet sand is visible around a depth of 3 feet to 6 and a half feet. Then stop and wait. Yeah! The groundwater will gradually fill the excavated hole. In the morning hours, the desert dew falls abundantly. Collect it, you can make a pile of rocks with an indentation in the middle to collect the condensed water. Additionally, you can try to build a solar water condenser. Dig a hole and if possible put freshly picked plants inside it. Place a container at the center of the bottom to collect the water and cover the hole with a sheet of plastic. Place a small stone in the middle of the sheet of plastic directly above the container. Now wait while droplets of water evaporate from the sand and plants and are drained into the container. Try to find an artificial source of water, a well. Usually they are dug near caravan roads and carefully covered from the sun, so it's not easy to find such a well. An alternative source of fluid may be found in some desert plants. You just need to know which ones are poisonous and which ones can be safely chewed. It is safest to get liquid from the bark of the baobab or from the lower branches of the date palm. Thrill seekers in search of water can try to lick a cactus, but it is better to chop the cactus into small pieces and squeeze the juice out of them. In extreme cases, you can drink your own urine. Passing it through a simple filter first is a good idea if you're able to do so. However, this should be done once. Recycled urine often contains harmful substances. Ultimately, every drop of water you get will help you survive until help arrives. Hmm. Oh, sorry. Could you drink cactus juice or your own urine to survive in the desert? We hope none of you will ever have to be stuck in the desert without drinking water. In case you ever need survival skills, be sure to subscribe to our channel. Who knows, maybe our advice will save someone's life one day.